Hi, this is Venkat Narayana from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to discuss about static versus instance methods in C sharp. What is static methods? Static methods will be used to share the same copy of data between objects. Static methods uses the memory of the class. What is instance methods? Instance methods will be used to work with individual object data. Instance method uses the memory of an object. We will discuss this concept over Visual Studio. Launch Visual Studio and create C sharp console application. I already create console application. Here we have one program class. This program class contains one main method and this main method created as a static method. Entry point for console application is main method. Here we will create two methods public, static, void, display, int, emp count, console dot write line, emp count we need to display emp count create one more method public void paint and this method taking two parameters int x comma int y console dot write line line exist x two y here first method purpose is this display method will provide employee count and second method will draw the line between x and y axis here this display method is static method paint method is instance method if any method contains static keyword then that method will call as a static method if the method don't have static keyword then that method is instance method or non static method now if you want to execute static method then we need to use class name here class name is program program dot and here we are getting method display but we are not getting paint method why we are not getting paint method is paint method is instance method we will not get instance method for class name display and this display method taking one parameter i am passing value Five. Now, if you want to execute instance method, then we need to create instance or object. Then later call the instance method. Create object. Syntax for object is class name. Here class name is program. Program object name equal to new class name. Here object dot paint, and this paint method taking two arguments four comma five. We will create one more object program p2 equal to new program p2 dot paint and here we will pass other values like 6 comma 2. Now we will execute this program without debugging that means control f5. Here we are getting output as employee count is equal to 5 and second line line exists 4 to 5 line exists 6 to 2. We will execute this program through debugging, put breakpoint here and go to debug, click start debugging or F5, later click step into or F11, start debugging. Here display method is a static method that means this method will share the copy of data for all the objects. So here for example in an organization employees is there, if any employee needs to find employee count in an organization then that is the common data for all the employees. So at that time we need to create static method f11 a count is equal to 5 and display the count. If another employee will call display method then that employee also will get same output as 5. So that type of functionality will provide using static method f11. Now here we created object and calling the paint method. Now this values will be applicable for only this object. Now here we create one more object. This data will be applicable to only this object. So that type of scenarios we will use instance method. F11. Now x is equal to 4. Y is equal to 5. And draw the line. And here we have output. P1 object will draw the line from 4 to 5. And P2 object will draw the line from 6 to 2. F11. and we have output as line exists 6 to 2. In this program, we are printing this output using console.writeline 
Now here write line is a method and console is a class. Why we are calling class name dot method name means here write line method is a static method. If you want to call static methods, then we need to use class name dot method name. So right click on write line method and go to definition. Here write line method declared as static keyword. So if you want to call write line method, then we need to use class name dot method name. Most of the time, if you want to create framework methods, then we can create those methods as a static methods. Now we'll discuss what is the difference between static methods and instance methods. Static methods will set the copy of data between objects. Here display method will display common data for all the objects. Instance methods will work with individual data objects. Here these two objects are working with their own data. So these are instance methods. Second point is shared methods will use class memory. Here if you want to call static methods, then we need to call using class name dot method name. Instance method will use object memory. Here if you want to call instance methods, then we need to use object name dot method name. If you want to discuss difference between instance and static methods in layman terms, for example, in an organization for employees is there. If any employee wants to find employee count, then that type of functionality will implement using static methods. So all the employees will get same employee count. But if any employee wants to get their own information, then so at that time we'll create that type of functionality using instance method. If the employee will provide their ID, then based on their ID, they'll get only their data only. So in this scenario, we'll use instance methods. That's it for today. If you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.